Now we're going to start frosting our sides. Now remember, if your frosting was in the refrigerator, you need to re-whip that before you start. Okay, so for frosting the sides, we're going to take a nice big glop of frosting. Don't worry about it being too much. And just start with a little section. Remember, you don't want to get any crumbs in your frosting. And if you get any in like that, you just wipe it right out. Keep that frosting clean. You take another big glop and you frost on top of frosting. And then just kind of spread it over. You want this big lip here of frosting as you go. We're going to take care of that later. Don't worry about it being messy. You just want to get that cake covered. We'll go all the way around like this. Remember to only frost on frosting. Okay, let's turn the cake and start with another. Don't worry about that corner. Don't worry about being messy because we're just going to clean that up later. And we'll go all the way around. Frosting, start on top of frosting. Never frost directly on the cake, except for that first time. I got a little crumbs. I'm going to wipe that off. I'll take another nice gob of frosting. It looks like a messy job, but messy isn't bad in this case. And we'll clean it up later. And we'll keep going all the way around with a smooth back and forth and just kind of coaxing that frosting around the edge. And going back, we'll, we'll go back and smooth it off later. A little bit around the corner. Always be sure not to pull your, your knife directly off the cake. See how that leaves a bare spot on the cake? Always glide off. And we'll frost back and forth motion. The knife goes like this when you go back and like this when you go forward. And you just coax that frosting around the cake. Don't worry about that big lip. We're going to take care of that later. In fact, we want, it, we want it there. And we'll turn it again. We don't want to get crumbs in there. It looks messy. So whenever you see any crumbs, you just wipe them right off. And you go get some new clean frosting to work with. Okay, now when we've completely covered the cake, now we'll go neaten that up a little bit. 